saints of God, members of the sons of the one true and living God ministry, and all those that are viewing us live, I'm just going to pray for you. Amen. Glory to Jesus. That will be viewing us. It won't be long. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, and I just want to get into the scripture very quickly. We have a brother here with a testimony. And we want to take all the testimonies that have been coming in. Glory to Jesus. There are many people at the moment they begin to drink the spiritual water. Demons appear to them in their dreams and tell them, do not drink that water. Miracles begin to happen. Healing breakthroughs. The Bible said, These signs shall follow them that believe on the name of the Lord. We shall heal the sick. We shall raise the dead. We shall cast out devils. The Bible said that Christ is that rock in whom spiritual water flowed from us. When we first go in church, chapter 10, verses 4, the Bible said they ate spiritual food. They drank spiritual water. The Bible tells us that they didn't age and didn't grow old. Plague, sickness, pestilence, compound them today in this time of COVID-19, of spiritual warfare. Glory to Jesus, Lamb of God. We need the weapons of God is given unto us uh, that spiritual water. Amen, somebody, that Christ has given unto us. Uh, the anointed oil, those of you who have not received your anointed oil, uh, make sure that you get it before they run out. Uh, what does the anointed oil represent? Uh, Christ, uh, the anointed one uh, of the anointing uh, that shall break uh, the yoke. Uh, even more than that, it represents uh, of a covenant with him. Uh, God is a that covering, that covenant, glory to Jesus, that right each tool that God has given unto us, each tool of the Spirit, have an assigned administrative anointing, have an assigned operation in your life. Amen. So not everything that you have received is the same thing. Amen. Again, you need to understand that everything that you have received is the same thing. Amen. The red rag that symbolizes the blood of the Lamb was to keep you safe uh, from the angel of death and destroyer from passing through your house. Uh, those who received the horn of oil uh, was to keep you uh, by the shepherd's hand uh, to lead you for the Bible said in Psalm 20 to the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, I shall not want. Uh, he went and go along and said, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death and the fear of evil? But thou art with me, thy rod of thy staff, they comfort me. Glory to Jesus. So the, the shepherd's oil was the law of the anointing and directing you. I'm showing you how the anointing, one anointing, but different administration, different operation of obedience to his word as you are following it. Now, Uh, represented uh, the resurrection power of God. Uh, hallelujah. And those that are fed, they were on the last. Uh, and those that the enemy brought to their knees. Uh, and those that the devil said, uh, and it was over. Uh, it is not by might. Uh, it is not by power. Uh, but by the Spirit. Uh, said the Lord. Uh, Approach. Uh, as they call it the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Different administration, different operations. 
of God to meet the need of the people. Now God has given unto us the spiritual water. That spiritual water. Amen, somebody. Amen. If you have not received it, make sure you received it. If you uh, think that you need more in your spirit because you are facing, uh, amen, somebody. Uh, hallelujah, the wiles of the enemy. Uh, amen, you are facing perplexity. Uh, of demonic powers operating. Make sure you make your appointment in this coming week for Wednesday. Uh, amen, most likely that's one day, one last day until the Lord tells us to come out again. To meet the need of the people. Until the Lord gives further instructions. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Lamb of God. Amen. So we're just going to take this better testimony. Um, yesterday you came here without an appointment, correct? Yes. Hallelujah. No, no appointment. Right. You had no appointment. You came just like that. And what happened when brought you here yesterday? Well, Saturday morning, I was doing the whole yard. And I fell along. But I didn't feel no pain at all. Sunday was the whole day. I stepped before you at home. Sunday, no pain. Monday morning, I get up. I start to put the whole thing here. Go out of the shadow, ready in the backyard. Monday, Monday, Monday evening, now, I start getting pain. I couldn't have any foot. I had to keep my foot straight. I couldn't have any foot at all. All right, so you fell on, on Saturday. Yes, Saturday, I Saturday fell. Saturday, you fell. I mean, you fell, you fell, you fell nothing. Nothing. I had to put the whole thing. So you continue doing your work. On uh, Sunday you celebrated your 74th birthday. Sunday, I already keep no partner at all. But, cool. but you keep cool when you turn 74. Yeah, you thank yeah. God for His grace and His mercy. Yes. And then yeah. Monday you started to feel pain. Monday I do all the work and I, I started to feel a little pain. And I stopped at coming in. I couldn't have any of it. I couldn't have any of it. I couldn't have walk properly. I had to drag. So from Monday you couldn't bend your yeah, you can dry yourself. Yeah. I couldn't even drive. You couldn't even drive. No, I couldn't even drive. And today you came here driving. Yes. Yesterday when I came, yes. your son-in-law and your daughter bring me here. Your son-in-law and your daughter and because you could not have drive. You couldn't drive, yes. Right. And when you come out, yes. And you pray for me, you anoint me with the oil then. So I came out prayer with you and anoint your foot with the anointed oil. Yes. And um when I leave and I uh you never come up. Yeah, you never come back. Yes. And even I went home. When? When I get up. Yes. He was by the time you get up in the morning, he was able to move your foot. Able to move my foot. He was able to stand. I said, I said I'm standing here. Eh? Yes. I but you're able to walk. I cannot move my foot. Like yes. And you was unable to walk. I'll stand. I don't yeah, I'll walk in good now. Alright, so stand by the shoulder that you're able to walk. Yeah, walking good now. Come on, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. And we give Jesus all the glory, all the honor, all the glory. So we're going to finish prayer with you, brother. Have a seat. I'm walking good and I'm driving good now. I'm driving back and I'm driving at all. So you're walking and you're driving. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Let's bring that oil there for me. So I'm going to pray with him. With the anointed oil. Christ, the anointing or the anointed one. Glory to Jesus. And so many other testimonies, people who came out of coma. And we said rats too. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Those that are viewing live, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. COVID-19 cannot shut down the power of God. It can shut down governments, communities, men, but it cannot stop God's work. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Looking up to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, we thank you for what you have started in us. We thank you for this man's miracle. We come again, satanic powers, preach for sorcery, necromancy, and the planet, we travel, we stay on the devil. We travel it out. We speak a word of a miracle, a word of deliverance. By your Be set free, be made whole by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord, for doing it by faith.
Amen and Amen. You are free to leave and give God some praise. All right, we're going to come back up through again tomorrow evening. All right, around the same time, I'm going to pray with you again. Amen. Amen. To finish up your third time of prayer. Amen. You will see the power of God. You see what God is able to do. Yes, brother, you go ahead. Stay blessed. What's your call? Amen. Don't just bring some hand sanitizer for me. Glory to Jesus. Stay tuned. Now, while you are viewing, I want you to turn to the book of Ephesians quickly. Glory to Jesus. We are going to the book of Ephesians. Chapter 6 and verses 10 quickly. I want you to understand. Many believers, they are getting complacent. My last message was when David become complacent, when he got relaxed, when he thought he had won so much victories, then Satan came up against him, caught him off guard. And the two most important things in that message, amen somebody, was do not get complacent, do not get relaxed in your shelter home. That many people say Noah was in quarantine too. Come on somebody, hallelujah. But they forgot all what Noah did to prepare before he was in quarantine. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. The church has not been prepared. We cannot type what Noah went through as quarantine. Preacher. Noah was in an act of safety. Amen. In a world devastating flood Amen. that destroyed humanity. Amen. And the Bible said at the days of Noah's so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. No one was looking for the sign of land. Amen. Are you looking for the sign of deliverance? Are you looking for the sign of your promise? Amen. Are you looking for the sign of your breakthrough? Are you looking for the sign of your miracle? God gave him a sign of a rainbow and he will never judge the earth again by water, but he will judge it this time by fire. Hallelujah. Amen. So do not interpret the Bible by your own minds and logic. Amen. The judgment that is to come is by fire, not by water. Amen. The act is not made. The act is made of Christ in us, the hope of glory. Obedience to God. Amen. Salvation is free. Amen. God's miracle power is free. Amen. But what he requires of us is obedience. Jesus taught his disciples to pray. He said, Thy will be done on the earth as it is in the heaven. Amen. And so I want you to understand that this man who received the Spirit here today, he was lucky enough and privileged enough to reach here by the church. Before saying that triple them forever. How many people that you see come to church triple? And God that has not healed. And then you see a few that come that God has healed. Amen. Because of obedience. Some come, some come too late. God, you've got to remember what happened to Noah. God shut the door. Many were trying to enter and couldn't enter at that time. But after the while, the five wise virgins and the five foolish, the five wise enter. And then the bridegroom shut the door. And the five foolish could not have entered. Amen. We don't have a physical act to know who entered and who not entered. Amen. But you have a duty to make sure you enter into your heart. Amen. Members, leaders of, the, of this ministry. Those who God has called, wherever you are. Make sure you are building your altar before God. Amen. Every altar has a price, Amen. has a sacrifice, Amen. has a place and time to meet with God. Amen. God calls David, glory to Jesus, to go and see where the angel was over Jerusalem with the sword Amen. and sent him to a place. The business altar paid the price for that altar, made the sacrifice Amen. that the 
and time. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Pandemics. Amen. The experts of the world that we can face finding a biblical proportion. Everything in our markets, pharmacies is stupid and double. Amen. We see a man committed suicide because he got Amen was put out. Because he couldn't pay his rent and provide food for his family. We are seeing all that the Lord has prophesied to this ministry being fulfilled daily. Amen. That you are seeing, we saw the chief health minister said they will open back the country in phases. The Lord told me that long before. He came out and said that, and I told you it. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Put on the whole armor of God, that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Wherefore, amen somebody, amen somebody, amen. for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness and high places. We're going to go into details in, in other messages. There's so much I've got to preach and minister to you. Amen. But some people cannot listen. They find a preacher might be too long to fall asleep. But they can watch soap operas and dramas and TV, amen, for hours upon hours and YouTube and be on Facebook. Why? Because that, amen, somebody, that's what the devil does. He puts you to sleep. Amen. And there's so much you can learn amen. to grow. Amen. Wherefore, take on you the whole armor of God, that you might be able to withstand in the evil day. Having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins, go to God with truth, and have
helping people. Amen. Pray, fast, and seeking God. Amen. Knowing that promotion coming out from the east or the west or the north or the summit is coming from God, Amen. which made the heavens and the earth. The God who needs a slumber for sleep. God is your promoter. God is your healer. Amen. God is your provider. Amen. When God says yes, no man can say no. Then God shall be for you. Who shall be against you? This fight is not yours, but the Lord. Amen. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. Yes, there are many con artists out there. There are many false prophets and false teachers out there. But you need to know the God whom you trust. The God whom you believe in. Amen. And Amen. And uh, if the man of God got a place to under, if they are anointed, and if what they are saying is of God, and if God has sent them, there are many false messengers in this time. But you need to have a relationship with Christ. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Amen. Now, uh, amen. Uh, the anointing all that we have is limited. Make sure you get enough to last you about two months. Amen. amen. We went very far to get bottles for you. Amen. Drunk high and low to get ingredients for you. Amen. 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 Sure. amen. Just today, over 100 bottles of coin is limited. Call Sister Kelly. Put down your order and come and pick it up. Amen. Amen. Sure. Amen. You have until Wednesday. Amen. I do not know the Lord is going to give me a next day. Amen, somebody. Amen. Wednesday coming. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Those that need the next bottle of spiritual water. Who Christ is that rock that spiritual water flowed out of. Make sure you ensure. Come and get it. You have heard the testimony. Those of you who just joined us, go back and hear the testimony of this man. Those of you who have testimony, text this again. Call her. Tell her you have a testimony. Amen. And that you want to come and share it. And we will make an appointment for you to go live and share with people what God has done. Through your life, through this ministry, by Jesus Christ, and that the instructions is given by the, the blood rod, by the shepherd's horn of oil, by the feast of Pentecost, or the Passover feast, or the spiritual water, or the anointed oil that is given out now. Amen. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Looking unto Jesus. Who is the author and the finisher of our faith? Remember, slack not your writing. Those that are viewing, get your water if it is close by. Your spiritual water. Christ is that rock whom the spiritual water full out of. And God is about to do special miracles in your life. God sent Jesus, Amen, on the earth. Not to condemn man, but that the world through him might be saved. The Son of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. And we saw him do miracles that no other man did on the earth. They said never a man spoke like him. Never a man before for the eyes of the blind. He, ate, he looked at a man, spit at the clay, rubbed it on his eyes, and told him go and wash in the pool of Silo. And his eyes! was open immediately and he saw men walking on the earth like trees the plantation of the Lord Amen. God plant you in the ministry and an anointing be your preacher Amen. you see when the Pentecost was fully come God did special miracles by Peter that is shallow Amen. and the height of the new nation he in the center and dry Glory to Jesus. And we see Paul with handkerchiefs put upon his body, set upon the sick, and those that were possessed, Amen. and they were healed. Amen. That Acts chapter 19, verse 11. And we saw that Paul spoke about vulnerable believers in that chapter. 
or the call of an evangelist and a call of an apostle or a teacher or a pastor. Come on. Amen. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. And the Bible calls it a five-fold ministry in Ephesians chapter 4. The Bible says, for he gave some apostles, and he gave some to be prophets, and he gave some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors, and some to be teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the edifying of the body, for the unity of the faith, to become the perfect man, to become the knowledge of the Son of God, to perfect the church of Jesus Christ. And if anybody wants to jump up uh, and be prophets and evangelists and teachers uh, and God they call them, they want to mess up the church. Amen. So you can say, well, I am Jesus too, and that's the prophet. Yes, you are Jesus. If your prophet have Jesus. Come on, but what God is telling your prophet to do and what and what God has given, amen, by the anointing, amen, to do, he has given you to do. Come on. Amen. Come on. We don't understand. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why as you read 1 Corinthians 12, what anointing? You want to have the same anointing. But what he has given is a different, what he has given is a different level of grace. Amen. That level of grace and of faith allow the anointing to be administered in a different way and to operate But if you are stuck up with pride and with arrogance, come on somebody, Amen. like Moses' brother and sister was, and they got cursed, and was put on the leprosy under the camp. Come on, Amen. and like those vagabond believers, come on somebody, Amen. that Paul spoke about, and wanted to do what God was doing to Paul, but the grace wasn't given for them to do. Amen. It doesn't mean they wasn't saved. It doesn't mean that they didn't have an anointing. Everyone that is saved have an anointing. We have a, the same anointing. Picture. There's only one anointing, one Christ, one Messiah. But to every vessel is given different operations and administrative powers of the gifting of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why I cannot be like Benny Him. I cannot be like TV Joshua or Shamba. Amen. Come on. I got to be who God called me to be. Amen. You got to be what God has called you to do Amen. and to be and do it obediently. Amen. Your foot cannot see I want to be the head. Your foot is needed for you to walk. Amen. But if your foot say, I am fed up being a foot, I want to be the head. Amen. It will be out of place, out of order. Amen. And you're going to have to walk upside down. Amen. And your head is going to be in the wrong place. Amen. So you got to know your place in the body of Christ. Amen. Otherwise you are doomed for destruction. You've got to be led of the Spirit, you've got to follow in faith. We're going to pray with you right where you are. I gave you a demonstration the last time of your blessed water. I'm going to pray with you, you repeat after me, then you're going to drink that spiritual water. Whom Christ is the rock. Whom that, amen somebody. Whom that spiritual water came out of Christ, the seven rock I stand. All on the ground is sinking sand. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for my body and your people body, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Not of sickness, not of disease, not of demon spirits, not of witches, not of wizards, not of warlocks, not of sorcerers, not of necromancers, for our body belongs to the Lord. We command you spirit of infirmity, sickness, disease, witchcraft, sorcery, you strong man operating against my life, the life of God's people. 
Jesus Christ. Let them receive their miracle. For by his stripes we are made whole. Healing is the children's prayer. For he is our high priest and is touched by the feelings of our infirmity. Touch them, Lord, where they are. In Jesus' mighty name, by faith. Amen. And we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Remember what is the care of the Lisa. Amen. If you need your Holy Spirit out, let us tell you. We are in a seal of spirit and walk. And you need to come with obedience in faith. And we walk by faith and not by sight. Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Have a great evening. Make sure you share these videos. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen. Make sure again you share your like. Amen. Subscribe. Amen. We have calls from all over the world, from the US to the UK, from the Caribbean. Amen. And from diverse of, from diversity of religion. People are trying to get help at this time. And they are running to the ministry. This is the time we can see revival. This is the time we can see a move of God. This is the time that God is there to come up for people. Amen. Remember the Lord spoke about the second wave. Come on. And it can mostly happen when the nation is over map up. Come on, but all the vaccine, we cannot go back to a normal state of life. For we who are saved, Christ is our vaccine. To those who are sure but a living faith. Keep looking up to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. The Lord spoke about the early rainy season. Amen. Amen. As we look at the weather services, they are saying the month of May to July could be one of the wettest. Amen. 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 Will be more wet than usual. Have more rainfall than usual. All this is prophetic. Come on. Amen. Uh, uh, look, one of the experts who are speaking on, on hurricanes that they are slowing down. It means they are passing over islands and nations more slowly and can be more dangerous. Hurricanes this year can be more dangerous than last year or the year before. We got to pray, church. Future. We got to pray. Amen. 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 Bring your spirit to God bless you. Have a great evening.